Hello guys, welcome to G-Centric. So in this lecture, we will start with our unit 11 that is transient analysis and steady state analysis. Okay. So basically now till now we have completed all the up to steady state analysis, right? That is um, this steady state, it means the at time is equal to infinite. Okay. That is like AC analysis that we have completed till unit 10. Okay, so this is the transient analysis through which gate will ask many questions. Okay, so this are, hence this is a very important chapter. Okay, it is important chapter. So now to understand this concept, whatever has written on the board, to understand this concept, we will take up an example. Okay, so example it's like falling from a bicycle or falling from a bike. Okay, so when you fall, when you fall from a bicycle while you were um, while you were riding when you fall from the bicycle what will happen you will be like something you you will not know that what what has happened for some time period right for some moment you will not know that after falling from the cycle there will be some time gap to understand what has happened with me right so now that we can call it as just accident okay so but before accident you were riding good you were in conscious okay you know what was uh, there in the path okay now when you have fallen just before the accident okay and the just accident this time period will be like 0 minus and 0 plus so this time t is equal to minus infinity it will be very much far away right negative time axis does not exist but for our convenience theoretically we have taken so this is very far so we will not consider this whole part will come before the accident so 0 minus is just before you have fallen from the cycle next is t is equal to 0 plus that is the just accident it means that after you have immediately fallen from the bicycle so this time period is called as transient response next after accident what will happen people will gather around you okay if you have fallen from uh, bike then what will happen they will take you to the uh, they will call the ambulance they will discuss everything will be done after the accident so this is called as long time at t is equal to infinite so immediately after you fall people will gather then calling the ambulance after some time it will come so that sometime we will call it as long time at t is equal to infinity right so now so this is called as steady state response right so this transient response and this state uh, steady state response together what we will call we will call it as complete response okay addition of both this natural response and force response right natural response is because you have fallen it it was not in, in your control but steady state force response it was in your control that is calling an ambulance so ambulance won't come till we call okay so that is force response for another name for steady state response and one more name for transient response is natural response. So together it will make the complete response. Okay. Now we will take one by one. First we will take transient response. Then we will take steady state response. So our first factor in transient response is what is it? Accident intensity. So how is intensity like classified as? Okay. So now if you are falling from cycle, what will happen? There will be less scratches or bruises on your body but if you get and met with an accident in car okay so the intensity will be high okay after bicycle you can take as bike also compared to this car it will be less right so as the you know heavy vehicles increase okay from bicycle to car what will happen energy will be stored in that more the weight more will be the impact or more will be the intensity of the accident right so that is why we can classify this as r l and c so which are the energy storing elements l and c so this r does not have any transient in it right there is no transient in the resistor but there will be transient in the l and c circuit these are called as energy storing elements okay so transient we can experience in l and c elements right now coming to this one why accident happens okay so it may be due to the brake failure 
okay these are all before accident right so what might be the conditions we are discussing what may be the conditions to ha accident happen right so you might have raised the accelerator okay because of that what will happen your speed will be imbalance you cannot control the speed so because of that what will happen you will meet with an accident so these are called as initial condition and circuit elements right what are the circuit elements brake accelerator speed so in this case what it will be network rl and c right because of this initial conditions before the meeting with the accident these will be the response right because of this what will happen you will meet with an accident now in this case we have one more also petrol right did you fall due to the petrol no right but it is an input for the bike or car right to drive it now what is this we can take this petrol as input to the network okay so because of the petrol only your car or bike is moving right and what will be the input to the network in case of network terms it will be either impulse okay or step ram or parabolic it can be anything the input to the circuit okay so this is the second point coming to the third point transient die out after some time theoretically it will never die out so it will be infinite but practically what it will be this is five times of time constant so what is time constant we have seen it it will come mostly in the control system so practically five times of the time constant what will happen transient will die out but theoretically it will continue till infinite it won't die out okay so that is the third point coming to the fourth point okay so mathematically so in mathematics in your engineering mathematics you have studied that transient response is also called as complementary function so we have also written complete response in mathematics is nothing but complementary function plus particular integral so this part is called as steady state uh, sorry transient response okay now coming to the steady state analysis or steady state response not analysis response okay so this is done at infinity okay it is dependent on input in this case we have seen in transient response it does not depend on the input to the network okay so if you have it is not accident is not happened due to the petrol that is the input right so it is not dependent on the the intensity or the accident it does not depend on the input to the circuit that means for the impulse for the unit for the ramp or the parabolic okay so this transient response is independent of the input coming to this it is dependent on the input <coughs> sorry impulse unit ramp parabolic mathematically what is this called particular integral right so this particular integral plus complementary function okay it will give you complete response of the system so here also transient response which is called as complementary mathematically and this is called as particular integral so together it will give us the complete response so mathematics base is also important for this one right next okay this is about the steady state next point is that dc transient is more severe than ac transient okay so most of the questions from the gate comes in the dc analysis part only okay for a very rare questions comes from ac transient okay next the uh, next last point is stability is equal to speed into accuracy okay so this speed uh, represents transient and accuracy represent steady state okay so in this case speed is if you increase the speed okay then accuracy if it is less what will happen stability will be it's like imbalance right whenever you increase accuracy and the speed will be less again that won't be any stable to get the proper stability and this should be this should be like maintained correctly right not too high or not too low it should be medium for both the parameters okay so speed into accuracy that is nothing but speed represents the transient okay it should be also normal steady state also for depending on the accuracy it should also be normal so like if they when they are in like medium terms the stability will be good okay so this is about the transient analysis part and the steady state response now the in this question gate will ask many questions from this part okay so 
it's like we have designed it for 8 to 9 hours okay so remembering the accident intensity and everything so that the theory will be kept good in your mind we have taken this example okay so next in the next lecture we will see how all these three elements that is r l and c behave at t is equal to 0 plus okay so once we analyze this then we will go to the response of t is equal to infinity okay so when we will complete that we will move on to the questions based on this transient analysis and steady state right so we will uh, see in the next lecture behavior of these circuit elements when t is equal to 0 plus okay thank you